Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the Mirage deck from Patrick Kuhn and the Legends Playing Card Company. All right, so what is the Mirage deck? Uh, this is actually the version two, okay? There was a version one before this. This is the second release. And uh, after the successful run of the original Mirage deck, Patrick Kuhn has launched this latest version, version two, and it implements a lot of new features, a lot of uh, design changes that kind of takes the Mirage playing cards to the very next level. The tech case, as you can see, is printed with gold foil. It has a brand new premium uh, pearlescent paper. Uh, and it kind of gives a metallic shine uh, when it hits the box. You're gonna see gold champagne ink covering the interior of the box. And when it's closed, you can see that there's a brand new gold perforated seal. The Mirage emblem on the front is depicted with a new crimson color, which complements this edition perfectly. The tuck case design is really uh, like Art Nouveau, kind of uh, very simple, very streamlined. It just says Mirage playing cards right there. This side says Mirage Dawn Edition Patrick Kuhn. And the other side says Luxury Playing Cards. And then there's the hashtag Mirage Playing Cards. The bottom has some ad copy about Mirage Playing Cards and Legends. The top looks like it says Mirage and then something, something, something edition. I don't know, it's underneath the sticker. And then uh, there's that custom sticker, like I said. And then the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. The tongue flap has a URL for Patrick Kuhn's website. And on the inside, you can see that beautiful pearlescent paper. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed from the Legends Playing Card Company, and they are done on a very thick stock. Uh, when I measure these out with the caliper, uh, I measure a stack of 10 cards that comes to 3.03 millimeters. Now, that is well within uh, Bicycle's casino grade, um, and 3.03 is probably one of the highest um, scores I've seen. So these are pretty thick cards. Uh, they're very similar to the White Lions, very similar to the Red Dynasty. Uh, when you get this deck brand new, it will not come in new deck order. It'll actually come in the Juan Tamari stack. And so if you're not familiar with that, I would suggest uh, if you're gonna purchase this deck, you Google it and learn the stack before you open the deck. Because the only reason this would help you is if you knew the stack before the deck was opened. The back design is that beautiful swirl that you saw on the back of the tuck case. Um, it is an optical illusion back specifically designed for both magic and cardistry. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. Uh, they're champagne, um, both identical. And it just has, simply says jokers in the corner and it has uh, a circle that has all four suit pips within it. Your Ace of Spades is very Art Deco. Uh, there's a large exploded pip in the center and it simply says Mirage Playing Cards. All your court cards have been customized by Thomas Lavity. And in a lot of ways, they're gonna look very similar to the Daniel Madison courts. Um, you're gonna see such famous magicians as Laura London, Kaylin Morelli, Eric Jones, and of course, Patrick Kuhn. The pips and indice cards are all completely standard and will be instantly recognizable to anyone. All right, so that is my review of the Mirage version two deck from Patrick Kuhn and the Legends Playing Card Company. And as always, I want to thank Rare Playing Cards for providing this deck for me so that I can do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it in the link below for rareplayingcards.com. Thanks. Bye.